What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. Today is my 12 month body update. 12 month postpartum body update. If you can hear Colin crying downstairs, my mom and husband have him. Um, he is very, very, very fussy since turning one. Um, has to do a little bit with teething. He just got two new teeth and I think he might be getting some molars. I don't really know, but he is just... <laughs> We're struggling, we're on the struggle bus. So basically I want to give a little background. So um, as a trigger warning, I just wanna talk about, um, just wanna like let you guys know that I'm gonna be talking about weight and numbers on a scale and that kind of thing. So if that's something that really bothers you, um, just like click out of this video. But yeah, I'm gonna be talking about weight loss, weight gain and all of that fun stuff. So at my pre-pregnancy weight, I was about 140, um, which was actually the highest I've been since I started my fitness journey. And then at the end of my pregnancy, I weighed in at 200 pounds, so I gained 60 pounds. Right off the bat, after giving birth, I lost 30 pounds, which left me at 170 pounds. Because you know, you lose the baby, the baby's weight, your placenta, fluids, swelling, and that kind of thing all the yummy stuff. <laughs> um, so yeah, that left me at 170 pounds. Um, and really since then, I have been trying to lose weight. Like I thought it was going to be really easy to just like get back to my pre-pregnancy weight and I am still nowhere even near it. I did breastfeed for about two and a half, three months. Um, and if anything, I think I actually gained weight. So I had Colin in August of 2020 and um, by December after the holidays and all of that, I was 175. So I gained five pounds. I was like still working out and stuff. I think my hormones just needed to figure themselves out. Yeah, so we were just eating and my mom was staying with us and we were just like, eating and not really going anywhere because Colin was so little and I was so overwhelmed being a new mom. After Christmas, we went home for the holidays and after Christmas, I came home and from Christmas, well, January, up until now, I lost about 10 pounds. So I'm only 165. Um, and I laugh about it because it's a bit discouraging, I'm not even gonna lie, but as you guys do know, if you've seen my other videos, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I have been actively trying to lose weight. I lift weights. Um, I have done that even before I was pregnant, so I'm just like getting back into that. My love for that is, I have so much love for weightlifting and all of that. Um, so basically I just did like a body recomp and I'll put pictures up on the screen from uh, January, February to right now. Um, and you'll kind of like see where I'm at with the body recomp. And while I only lost about 10 pounds, there is a huge difference in just the way that I look. So if you don't know what body recomp is, um, just like a brief little overview, the fat that you already have in your body, you kind of just turn it into muscle. You know, you don't gain weight, you don't lose weight, you kind of just stay the same and put muscle onto your body, like lean muscle mass. So that's what that is. And that's what I have done. Um, personally, I don't mind being this heavy. I would like to have lost, you know, maybe been around like 150, 160, like kind of like fluctuating between like those 10 pounds, but I don't really mind kind of where I am right now. Um, I don't know. And maybe if I didn't work out, I don't like where I don't know where I would be maybe I would have gained a lot more weight maybe I would have lost a lot more weight to not really see much results on the scale is just really what had me so discouraged but comparing myself to how I feel now as to how I felt in like March I feel really good about myself you know my waist is a little bit smaller I don't feel like I look as big I don't feel as big um I feel good. I feel I feel really good. I'm not really someone who is going to sit here and tell you not to exercise um, if you want your body to be at a certain weight or at a certain way um, that you want to look physically. I'm not someone who's going to sit here and just say, you know, love your body and this and that. I mean, yes, love your body, you know, but if you are so upset about your body, if there's 
something that you want to change about your body, you can. <laughs> it's very like controversial for me. There are like two sides of postpartum and there's one that's like, love my body and love your roles and love your stretch marks. I see a lot of influencers kind of going that way um, rather than, I mean, it's hard to say because after having a baby, if you have multiple babies, um, it's hard to try and get in the gym and lose weight and, you know, whatever else. But on the latter, if you really, 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 really want something, then you will do something about it. And it doesn't have to be extreme. You know, it, 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 it can be small steps. It can be going for one walk during the day. It can be making sure you get down, get 10,000 steps throughout the day. It can be working out at home for five, 10, 15, 20 minutes. Uh, it, it can be anything. It could, it could really be anything. And as long as you're watching with your, what you're eating, it's doable. It, it really is. Um, so while I do love my body and trust me, I have lots of rolls. I have lots of stretch marks. Um, I don't like, I didn't like where I was at after I just had a baby, you know, I had lost all my muscle. I, you know, I just had a baby. I didn't really love the way that I looked. Um, and so I did something about that. I'm not a hundred percent where I want to be right now. Um, I'm really glad that I am where I am at at the moment because slow progress is still better than no progress. I don't say all of that to sound like harsh, but it is the God's honest truth. And sometimes the truth hurts. Um, I'm not going to be one who's just going to accept my body when really deep down I am unhappy with it. If you have gone through pregnancy and you don't mind the way that your body looks and you can learn to love it, then by all means do that. You know, it's all about self-talk. And while I am working out and going to the gym, it's not due to negative self-talk or negative anything. It's more like self-help. Um, I want to do this for myself. I love doing it for myself. It's it's self-care in a way for me. Um, so if you think of it more like that and not like a, I hate the way my body looks, I need to go to the gym, I don't deserve to eat X, Y, and Z, you know, it's not from a place of negativity. It's from a place of love and care because working out and taking care of yourself and taking care of your body and your nutrition is good for you. It's, <laughs> it's good for you. You don't have to accept the way that you look after having a baby, you don't, you don't have to accept it. You can do something about it if that's what you want. So just know that everyone is different in what they want, how they feel, and that kind of thing. I kind of feel funny saying all that because I feel like a lot of these postpartum videos are more so um, women just learning how to love the way that their body looks um, after having a baby and I just want to say that it's normal if you don't love your body after having a baby and it's normal to want to change it um, as long as it's coming from a place of positivity. So yes, um, I am now, I'm, dr I'm just dressed cozy today like I kind of look like a sack of potatoes and that's okay, <laughs> mom life. Um, but I think I'm going to show you guys now what my body is kind of looking like. It is one o'clock in the afternoon so I have, I'm I've eaten already, I am bloated, but I want to show you what I look like. I know I put the pictures on the screen, um, but I think video just kind of shows a little bit more. Um, it's not like my best angles. So I'm gonna show you guys what I like really look like. Okay, so it is the next day actually. Um, the lighting was really, really dark. Actually, I'm gonna put my light on. So the lighting is still dark because it is, um, really gloomy out but I also just want to say that I was wearing leggings so I have some crazy looking lines on my tummy but this is what I look like you guys it's not it's still not the greatest lighting but it's not as dark as it was um this is what I'm looking like just like kind of relaxed normal not posed or anything This is relaxed. This is kind of like sucked in a little bit. And yeah. We got lots of cellulite there. 
lots of stretch marks on the inside of my legs and I still have um, stretch marks here as well it's kind of hard to see on camera I'm not sure if you guys can see it but yeah it's right there and pretty bad on my um, <laughs> my tattoo so I feel like this is really awkward like an awkward like angle with the camera and everything hopefully you guys can even hear me but um maybe up close it's just it's so weird um so yeah i have a lot of extra skin a lot of lower belly fat um i'm still just like overall pretty chunky um yeah <laughs> the lines look so funny But yeah, those are my stretch marks. You can see them pretty well here. And it it looks like I have a lot of extra skin kind of right where my belly button was pierced. I also have like stretch marks on it. I don't know if you guys can tell because of the lines, but yeah, it kind of looks like a lot of extra skin kind of right above my belly button, which was not there before. So lots of stretch marks. Lots and lots of cellulite stretch marks. Here. I got a lot of stretch marks like all the way up my hips while I was pregnant. I guess they do kind of look maybe a little bit better now, but stretch marks start with a little <laughs> I cannot speak today. Stretch marks don't really like concern me. Like I don't really care if I have stretch marks. Um, it kind of like is what it is. I am slightly self-conscious about about the cellulite that's kind of in the back Which is kind of hard to see in certain lighting, but yep, there it is Yeah There it is um, And yeah, apparently the little fat underneath your butt and by your leg is called banana rolls Which I've always had so it wasn't due to pregnancy but um yeah that's what my body is looking like so back to the video so i totally forgot but a few more things that i did want to add onto this video was that six weeks postpartum six or seven weeks postpartum i um got an iud um i felt like the birth control thing was very pushed and i was rushed into a decision um by the medwives and I decided to do the IUD because I knew that I wasn't going to remember to take a pill being a new mom and so sleep deprived. Um, so I got the IUD and I got it in September. So from September to about February, I bled every single day. And you guys, that is not an over exaggeration. I am not kidding. I can't tell you how much money I spent on pads and tampons, panty liners, and that kind of thing. It was every single day, and I was miserable for 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 months, just all day long. Um, it wasn't like heavy flow, but it was just a constant annoying flow. After a while, I said I'm done with this. I made an appointment, and in March, I got my IUD removed, and I have been we have been natural family planning since then since march um i also want to add that if you guys have been following along um i deal with a lot of i've dealt with a lot of constipation post-birth um and well actually while i was pregnant as well i dealt with it quite a bit i was regularly taking miralax i still have the same problem so i was in touch with a gi and we haven't gotten far but um basically i am just taking miralax every single day since april or something like that and that is a problem and whatever in itself um i'm really focusing on a holistic way of trying to deal with this um like gut health and hormone balancing and that kind of thing so yeah but i also want to add that i cut out dairy in in a what's the word i'm looking for I don't know what I'm trying to say. I cut out dairy in hopes that it would help my constipation. 
um, and my gas problems and my bloating and that kind of thing and I have to say it really really did but it's so hard to stick to and I do have dairy frequently stopped eating dairy I felt so good and I feel like that's when I lost most of my weight um, dairy causes inflammation and it's really it's really not that great for you and after pregnancy you can have certain um, sensitivities that you didn't have before um and yeah your body you know your body just changes and it changes and it changes and sometimes it just go back <laughs> um so yeah i'm trying to figure that out on my own and i'm on a journey it's a journey for sure i think that's all i wanted to say for this video um and yeah i feel normal like mentally like well actually that's kind of a lie um i feel better now and i'll explain why but i was dealing with a lot of anxiety i think that kind of has been there the whole time but it was kind of like a come and go kind of a thing like inconsistent and as of recently as of the past couple of months it's been consistent anxiety um and i'm not really sure why and i still have it after a year postpartum and so I have not spoke to a doctor about this, so I'm not even 100% sure if it's postpartum anxiety. Um, like, I don't have a diagnosis or anything like that, but I do know that I'm feeling anxious and I may have, like, some kind of mild form of anxiety, but it's definitely an issue as of lately, and if I can't resolve it on my own, then I will probably go and talk to a doctor. Anything, If anything, I'll keep you guys, like, updated on that. But I decided to take matters into my own hands and I'm taking like vitamins for it and I'll share with that with you um, right now. So the past two, three months, I've been taking a balance, the balance vitamin from Alani New. If you don't know what that is, they have them in like GNC and Vitamin Shop and all of that. But um, Alani New is a company from Instagram, a fitness family, a um, little bit of background. And I was taking their vitamin and I really noticed like a significant difference when I was taking those vitamins. I took those vitamins to get pregnant and it really like helped with my anxiety, like put it at bay. So I really think my anxiety is a hormonal imbalance. I have this new vitamin that I just stopped at the vitamin shop to get. It's a little cheaper than the balanced vitamin, but it's called 5-HTP. Do your own research on it. Um, it really helps with my anxiety. I've taken it before in the past way before I was even pregnant so I'm taking this again and kind of just gonna like see how I feel um and yeah my camera's gonna die so hold on <laughs> okay so as I was saying I don't really remember what exactly I was saying but just to close this out I will let you know how I get on with these if um they continue to help if they don't continue to help um I'll let you guys I'll keep you guys like updated um in future vlogs um and yeah i have a lot of other things that i want to update you guys on um in my personal life that don't have to do with um pregnancy and postpartum so stay tuned for the next video um and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed i hope i wasn't too harsh in my words um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you aren't a little bit a little bit <laughs> subscribe if you aren't already and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.